as a first of all, what is the, uh, I guess, the underlying justification for the MPC lifting rates today? I think they were very clear at the time of the May meeting that things hadn't quite shipped out as they expected, um, but that they were just looking for data to come in line with their expectations between May and August, and that's pretty much what they've done. So um, I think pretty much every speech we've heard from MPC members since then signals they're ready to hike. Yeah, but, but the Brexit, I mean, and it's fully priced in at the moment in the market, it's, but actually because of Brexit, does it make not more sense to wait? Well, maybe you have got that opportunity to go. You've got a kind of window where they can raise rates. As you, as you said, the data has looked a little bit better since May. We've obviously had a bit of a weaker pound over that period. So that combined with the public sector pay announcements that have come through, inflation likely to possible, possibly could pick up a little bit. But I think what's more interesting to me is that we're almost on a case of one and done. The market's pricing in one, and then we don't have another hike price until the back end of next year. Um, if he doesn't hike today, or if the Bank of England doesn't hike, what happens to Pound? <laughs> I mean, he loses all credibility. One of our traders said if he doesn't hike today, he may as well resign. You know, it, it's gotten to the stage where markets have been wrong-footed so many times yeah. by Mark Carney. But Last time was in May, right? Right, but at least in May, you know, they made an effort to talk down markets a few weeks ahead of the meeting. They can't not hike today. It, it would really just be a scandal.